This is why you need to know about aperture, f-stop, and shutter speed. Let's talk about aperture first. Think of it like the pupil of your eye. The bigger it gets, the more light comes in. It's measured in f-stops, like f2, 8 or f16. Smaller numbers mean a bigger opening and bigger numbers mean a smaller opening. Easy, right? Now shutter speed. Imagine your camera's shutter as a little door. The longer it stays open, the more light gets in. Fast shutter speeds freeze action while slower ones blur motion. So if you want to capture your dog zooming around the yard, use a fast shutter speed. Lastly, let's chat about f-stop. It's just another word for aperture. Lower f-stop numbers give you that dreamy, blurry background effect, while higher numbers keep everything in focus. Simple as pie. So there you have it. Aperture, f-stop, and shutter 